Hello, I'm Jiya Makino, a Japanese violin player. I've been actively playing modern music and contemporary music in Europe and Japan. I would like to share you the history of 20th century music. This is going to be a series and today I focus on the decade from 1960 to 1970. So, let's take a look at the 10 years from 1960. From 1960 to 1970, following events occurred in the world. The Berlin War, the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Vietnam War, and the conflict between the United States and the Soviet Union deepened. And it's still a problem of racial discrimination. The assassination of Ref King occurred and war and racism were intensifying even in this era. The death of Ref King rocked all over the United States and Italian composer Luciano Berio, who was teaching composition at the Juilliard School at that time, mourned for Ref King in the second part named O King of his masterpieces Sinfonia. The word Martin Luther King, the name of Master King, is sung in various forms as lyrics and by its skillful use, it has succeeded in producing strange effects. The psychological effect of repeating the names of great men whom people respected, isn't it the chant of the 20th century? It makes me feel that way. This piece used a technique called crutch. Originally an art term, crutch used to refer to the method of painting by pasting newspaper or cloth on canvas, but it has also been cited in the field of music. Taking Symphonia as an example, it cites the works of various composers in the past, such as Bach. Beethoven, Brahms, and Dovisi. This crutch technique was also used by other composers. German heretic composer Bernd Alois Zimmermann also cites this technique in his music of the Supper of King of and Requiem for a Young Poet. This quoting and crutch technique is one of the postmodern music. From the beginning of Atonal music, in the early 1900s to the 1960s, European avant-garde musicians have been largely advancing in pursuit of a variety of new music. The end result was total serialism, which destroyed tonality of music that had uh, rested for more than 300 years and fundamentally revised the definition of music. When total serialism was flourished, Cage introduced aleatoric music and indeterminacy music. With them, he shocked European musicians totally. Burez and Stockhausen were shocked by the idea of overturning the way the composer should be. However, they accused the composers of laziness to leave everything to chance like Cage and devise it a work by managed chance. The composition method as a fall is controlled by the composer, but it happens to entrust either the composition of the small part or the composition of the large part. I think it's a European solution that absorbs the flexibility of chance, but doesn't give up the composer's rights. Piano Sonata No. 3 by Bress and Piano Piece 11 by Stockhausen are a good example. After that, Pieces that also used a technique called cluster were released. A cluster is a mass of sound, and the famous piece is Treno D to the victims of Hiroshima, composed by Polish composer Krzysztof Pendelski. And George Rieti's Atmospheres, which is also known for its music used in a tremendous movie, 2001, A Space Odyssey, and The Shining directed by Stanley Kubrick. 
after experiencing total theorism, managed chance, and clusters, the European avant-garde music industry has finally stagnated in creating new music method. That's where American avant-garde musicians have emerged. In the United States, experimental music has been active since the 1950s, centered on John Cage. In 1961, an avant-garde arts organization called Fluxus was established and became the mother of new activities that are not bound by established art concepts. There, they played group improvisation and intuitive meditation music. La Monteyang and others, who were members of Fluxus, created a new kind of music called minimal music. The characteristic of this minimal music is to repeat small motifs. It's sometimes called repetitive music. This genre goes well with magnetic tapes such as open reels, and in the early days many works were made with tape loops. Many such electronic instruments have been adapted and they are now widely supported by the public due to club type loop music. It is also characterized by many pieces with clear tonality and many people may have an impression that it's far from the difficulty peculiar to contemporary music. This is basically considered to have its roots in antithesis to Western avant-garde music. It embodies the musical ideas of Terry Riley, Philip Glass, Steve Reich, and others who are center musicians in this genre and were inspired by visiting remote areas such as India and Africa. Typical pieces are Riley's in C, Reich's piano phase, and violin phase. In this early minimal music, the audience enjoyed listening to the process by which the composer sifted the figure and what kind of sound was produced each time. In the 1960s, the activities of American avant-garde musicians became noticeable, while the European music world was stagnant. Next, let's see how the situation in the Soviet Union and Japan at that time. In the Soviet Union, which became so in the late 1950s, information on Western avant-garde music and art, which was difficult to know until then, flowed in at once, and young composers greedily absorbed them. Then one new style came up. The so-called polystyristic music has created a world of sounds that disregards the order of history, such as serialism, clusters, and medieval Renaissance music styles coexisting. The best example is Shinitoke's Symphony, which incorporates improvisation jazz and combines classical and romantic styles with contemporary sounds. In Japan, in addition to European avant-garde music, American experimental music was introduced by John Cage's student Toshi Ichianagi. As a result, experimental trends became more active in Japan as well. Then, through the composition techniques of European avant-garde music and American experimental music, pieces with unique styles also appeared. The most representative piece is probably November Steps composed by Toru Takemitsu, a representative composer of post-war Japan. It is a masterpiece that exquisitely mirrors the characteristic of Japanese musical instruments and techniques obtained from Western avant-garde music, including tone clusters. That's all for this time, so let's summarize it. In the 1960s, European avant-garde music began to show a stalemate reel by reel after total serialism and instead the experimental music activities shown by American avant-garde musicians were actively carried out. In particular, minimal music has had a wide range of influences not only in avant-garde music but also in popular pop music. 
in the Soviet Union, young composers actively adapted European avant-garde music technique and began to make polystylistic music. In addition to Western Europe avant-garde music, Japan also gained information on American experimental music and composers representing the post-war period, including Toru Takemitsu, began to create works with their own identities one after another. That's it for this time. Next time I will talk about from 1970 to 1980. Thanks for watching and see you soon.